Hello my friends and welcome to another sketchbook tour. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Viola, I'm mixed media artist and this is my second sketchbook tour here on YouTube. So if you haven't seen my previous one, uh, please uh, go see it. I did a little introduction of myself if you want, want to know more about me. But I want to keep this intro quite quick this time and so yeah let's start so this sketchbook is quite big i love this sketchbook i think i filled it quite quickly it's a royal talent sketchbook i think it's 21 to 13 centimeters um and i really liked it and i never had the red sketchbook before so i wasn't sure but i was feeling it it was great um, because the sketchbook is quite big and full, as you can see, I decided to make this uh, part one and part two. So I will show you first half of the sketchbook and uh, then I will make a video of the second half. So the video is not too long and I would not bore you. <laughs> I just don't want to bore you. So yeah, let's start. So, as you can see, I have some lovely stickers on my sketchbook. I will put the names of the artists uh, on the video. I think it's two artists uh, here. So yeah, we're starting. I have some uh, papers here. So these are just some one, uh, one night line sketches that I did in a restaurant. Uh, I'm from Prague and in Prague we have this restaurant uh, called uh, Café Louvre and they have pencils and uh, papers on each table so you can uh, so you can do what you want and I love it because as an artist it's very handy. Um, then I have this BU illustration that I did on one of our meetups with my art collective that I'm part of um, and yeah that was a really nice night <laughs> so first page uh, so I started 29th of January 2023 and this was really just um, doodling um, I was trying to come up with a composition for a poster that I wanted to do and uh, yeah just some things that i had in mind that day i got those these two a uh, new posca markers so i wanted to try them out as well and i did these um little apricots and i really like them i think this is such a cool color combination i love it here I think I joined some uh, pattern challenge and the prompt was shells so I tried to come up with some ideas and I did the pattern later I scanned these sketches and made a pattern from it um, this is just a monster that we have at home it's much bigger now it grows so fast um, but I actually don't really like this page but I love this page. I don't know why, but um, I just wanted to draw and sketch some pairs. So I did it. I used, um, what did I use? I think I used gouache as a paint, under paint. And then I went with near colors, uh, crayons on the top. And I like this one. I think I will make, I want to make a um, sticker from this one and just write, it's okay to lay down, um, meaning it's okay to give yourself some rest and, and don't stress all the time. Yeah, so here I just wrote a note to remember that that's what I want to do. Um, this page I also like so much and it was just one evening. I was lying on a sofa, we had a TV on, but my boyfriend got me these uh, beautiful lilies 
and I didn't really wanted to do anything complicated so I just grabbed two of my colored pencils and it was such a fast um, sketch without thinking half dark room so we had just like a candle on um, and yeah I really really like it I also like that I left the rest of the page uh, just white and I didn't feel the need to fill the page completely um, this was 6th of uh, February at Plymouth Uni. I went there for a um, market, Love Letter Markets, where I met my dear friend uh, Dahlia. And we were sitting outside having lunch and there were a lot of pigeons. So I took some of my colour pencils and just drew this pigeon. Very colourful pigeon. <laughs> Here again, I think I like the idea from this page. And as I said, I had those two new Posca markers. I will show you, they are, they are massive. So they are really good for background. And I had another, I bought another flowers and I had them in a vase, but I didn't feel like I have enough power to go in and try to sketch the, um, I think it was tulips properly so I just tried to catch the shape and just did the background and I actually quite like it here's just some experimenting with different uh, different media I think I used like a purple highlighter here and there and again some new color crayons and just left the page blank again which is a good thing I really liked it. I should start doing it more. <laughs> I really, really like this page. So it's like a bowl of uh, oranges. I think I used some photo of Pinterest as an inspiration. And yeah, mixed media all over. <laughs> so yeah, I used the, I like to use highlighters um, as a part of the drawings because they just bring the color so much. Sometimes I use my sketchbook as a journal. I didn't know what I want to do, so I wrote this page and then I did just a little sketch of flowers again. Here, um, I went uh, to sketch next to the hoe with my friend Dahlia and we just sat outside and had a pretty great time sketching and for some reason I just decided to do these little windows and use uh, yellow paint as a underpaint and then just go in uh, with a pencil, colorful colored pencil and a little bit of the Posca. So you can't see that much, but it's, um, I think it's quite nice. Yeah, here later we decided to do like one minute and three minute uh, studies. So we would just like point at a tree or bush or whatever was around us and say, okay, let's let's draw this uh, tree in three minutes. Um, and I used my oil pastels. And I quite like to play with the colors here um, instead of just with the green. Here I bought this really nice i have it here so i can show you this really nice um, kind of jar in a scrap store in plymouth and i together with some uh, crayons inside so i thought i would make a palette of all the colors that are there and those two are my favorites from it here again just like daffodils and vase but I wasn't over this uh, new Posca yet, so <laughs> I used it a lot. Again, playing with the negative space. Here we had a uh, Nova night as our co art collective night, and we went to the pub to a uh, Bread and Roses, and uh, there it was.
it was quite it was really nice atmosphere and it's just quite dark and moody there has this jar on the window so i just i just uh, did an illustration of this jar and with a little bit of spark around it feels quite like a witchy kind of mood theme <laughs> So we were on a train to London and I was bored and I had a banana with me and of course my sketchbook and all my materials. So I just draw, um, I just sketched uh, the banana that I had and yeah, I like to do colorful bananas. So when we were on a train, we were actually on way to London to catch a to catch a plane there and we went to check to my home country to go ski i got it for my boyfriend as a christmas present so we went skiing and then i did some i always had my sketchbook with me to be honest that my boyfriend always had my sketchbook in his backpack so shout out to him um and yeah so when we had a break for uh hot drink or something I would take out my sketchbook and sketch the sceneries around and again I really like these colors I like the neon pink it's a acrylic paint I had like one little tube of acrylic paint with me and that was this this pink and I played with it when I mixed it a lot with water it's like this very light pink uh, so yeah really like this color combo So this sketch I did when we went um, cross country skiing. So we were like on the top of the mountain. So it wasn't that hilly anymore. And you could see, I tried to make it um, quite simple again, quite fast because it started raining. Maybe you can see it. Um, and then again, I used it as a, as a journal and our, our room in our hotel got flooded and it was all drama and I was so, so sad, but it was all right. <laughs> Another quick um, sketch of the hill. The, at the end of our stay, the, the snow was like kind of disappearing. So I wanted to catch like that you could see a little bit of a grass and stuff. We went for a nice dinner to a restaurant and they had a fireplace and it was so cozy there. Um, so I did just a little sketch. Another landscape. So as you see, it looks more and more like spring. Um, this was at the end of February. So a spring was knocking on the door. Oh, here I just did. I think I was on a in a train on a train way back from London, home to Plymouth, and I had banana again <laughs> with me, and I do, did those uh, spotty bananas, and then just uh, filled this page uh, with some lettering, and then I had an idea that I might do a print or or uh, maybe I can do a greeting card uh, as well saying, with this illustration saying, I'm spotty, but I'm still cool. Well, we will see, but I thought it's funny. Um, so we came back from our skiing holidays and I was so, so stressed and overwhelmed and the holidays just didn't turn out as I wanted. And I was very sad and it was Sunday. So we had one uh, last day before we had to go back to work and my boyfriend took me for a Sunday roast um, to the coast um, here in Devon and it was just such a beautiful day. We're si it was sunny, we were sitting next to the coast, I, I sketched, we had beautiful, beautiful lunch and I felt like I enjoyed that moment more than the whole week of our holidays where we were supposed to relax so yeah this was really really nice day um here was just trying some sketches here i went to uh, our creative homework meetup that we have monthly here in plymouth as well 
and it was before Mother's Day so I wanted to draw some flowers that I could use on greeting cards and so that's what I did I used my oil pastels I brought some new oil pastels uh, from Czech while we were there skiing that my mum gave me um, and that's where my obsession with uh, oil pasta started I got this uh, really nice uh, pack of uh, it was uh, like a mixture of a little bit used oil pastels but there were some Van Gogh pastels in so good quality pastels and I just fallen in love again <laughs> um, I think you, we were in Bagamamas here and I just wanted to sketch my uh, edamame beads here but then I couldn't resist anymore and I wanted to eat it so I didn't finish it here 7th of March again page that was more like uh, journaling yeah so again just like try to capture what I'm thinking about that day uh, this was for International Women's Day so I was like we are magic and everybody should celebrate women <laughs> Here we went again to London and I already showed it in my little sketchbook but I just love seeing woodland, English woodland when I'm on the train um, so I had to make a sketch again and it was just so beautiful. I, I love it. Um, this I did in uh, in a tube in the underground in London so we had quite a long way to go there to get to the center from where we were staying and I thought I will take my sketchbook out and try to sketch some faces I'm not I'm not good with drawing people it's not really my top interest I like much more nature but I thought why not I will practice a little bit I also draw my boyfriend and me <laughs> I went to Paul Cezanne exhibition in London in Tate Gallery and let me tell you I loved it it was so amazing and um, I spent three hours there and I was as you can see writing notes and doing sketches of his paintings and trying to take in as much as I could because impressionists are my favorite uh, artists and it's my favorite art period in the art history so i really wanted to enjoy this opportunity that i can see all his paintings that were there um, so yeah i spent a long long time there uh, trying to study the color combinations that he used in his paintings and yeah all this <laughs> fun fact is that my poor boyfriend was done with the exhibition after one hour then he had to wait in the lobby for the next two hours because i was like i'm not leaving yet you go but i'm not leaving <laughs> this was just one evening sketch of a like a horse and i was thinking about horses and universe and stuff so i did this page uh, mostly to re relieve stress i think so a lot of uh, pencil background but I did a sticker I made a sticker from uh, this page and it will be available on my shop update next week so um, evening sketches of my little flowers and my little vase that I bought when we went uh, back from London This was draw this in your style. Um, I tried. It was Katie May um, illustration, but yeah, I'm not I'm not good in this type of illustration. But I wanted to try it, and I I quite like this moment here. Right, let me just check if we are in the middle. A few more pages. <laughs> Right, this is um, a Make Meaning for workshop that I attended. This was a Make Meaning for workshop and uh, it was with my friend Lou 
who was leading the workshop and it was just so great. We were like writing down for us the things that make us feel peaceful and things that makes us feel powerful and stuff. Um, and then we were doing collage um, and I decided to do like a little poem like this. Um, and I, I really like how it turned out. I really, really like it. Then I did this page, Trust the Process, inspired by Lou's work because she plays a lot with, um, with letters. Um, and one more, but I don't really like this one. It's, um, yeah, and then I, for some reason, did these horrible illustrations of uh, vegetable, but yeah. Not fan of this page. <laughs> um, here I went to live drawing class and this page I just wanted to have like a background for some other artwork but I never filled it. But I think we will finish with this page um, because um, we are in the middle of my sketchbook now, as you can see. And I think that the part two will come very soon so please stay tuned let me know in the comments uh what page was your favorite and yeah thank you so so much for watching for uh being part of uh my journey my art journey and uh for being interested in what i do um if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and press a subscription button I will be very, very grateful for any of your support. Uh, you can also follow me on my Instagram where I post every day um, so I can keep you updated on the part two video. And well, this is it. I hope you will have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching again and yeah, bye.